We have been talking about those new nationwide limits on PFAS forever chemicals in drinking water. New today, we're hearing from stakeholders here in Maine about yesterday's announcement from the Environmental Protection Agency. News in Maine's David Guilford has reaction now from the state's largest water supplier and people who have been fighting for years to keep these chemicals away from families. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency for the first time set limits on PFAS or forever chemicals in drinking water. For two of those chemicals, the agency set an enforceable maximum level at four parts per trillion, well below Maine's existing standard. This is a huge win for public health. Adam Nordell is one reason Maine has a standard. PFAS contamination shut down his Unity farm and threatened his family's health. He fought for change in Augusta and welcomes it from D.C. These levels are, are set appropriately low to protect the health of the most vulnerable people. Public water sources have three years to implement testing and remediation procedures for six different chemicals. The Associated Press reported some utility groups nationwide warned the rules would cost tens of billions of dollars, while the Biden administration argues financial help is available, and this will save thousands of lives. This new finalized regulation by the EPA came as no surprise to us. Portland Water District serves the taps of 200,000 Mainers from Sebago Lake pristine and, according to the district's existing testing, free of measurable amounts of PFAS. They see no problem complying with the EPA's rule. And included in the new standards is $1 billion in grants for residential well owners. And in the state of Maine, where over 50 percent of our population gets their drinking water from residential wells, to have this funding available for folks to test and remediate for PFAS in their drinking water is just amazing. One thing the EPA doesn't cover in this move, farmers. Nordell says that's next on his list. So that farmers know they're selling safe food and consumers know they're eating safe food. David Guilford, News Center, Maine.